first aid man was like, you know what, I think we need, I think we need an ambulance. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. So today I'm going to be doing a completely different video to the other two videos I've done recently. This is going to be a story time. Story time. So I'm going to take you back to the year of 2017, um, late April. And my friend asked me if I'd like to complete a 10k run with him. Um, it was basically a run that was set up by my primary school um, and it was a charity event, so all the parents and any siblings and stuff were, were going back to take part in this event. So, at the time, I hadn't been doing any fitness or, or any preparation for this event, so this was very spur of the moment, but I decided, uh, why not? I was feeling a bit chubby at the time, so I thought this could be a good opportunity to do some exercise, whilst also giving back to charity, so win-win. Here is me, on the day of the event, looking, you know, quite happy mentally ready and then we went to the starting line and all I had with me was a Red Bull. I didn't have any fluids with me other than a Red Bull or in my case the little Red Bull. Same same but different. This drink was in my hand and I just thought to myself all right Red Bull gives you wings so surely it's going to do the same effect so I decided to down it. I necked it about three minutes before the race started. So, this didn't turn out to be such a great decision, but you'll find out a bit later why. So, we began the race feeling fairly positive. We started off very strong. We, we had a good tempo, we moved fast, um, we were moving up the ranks, we were overtaking people like there was no tomorrow. I was on the music, I had a little speaker with me, banging out some uh, motivational tunes to keep us going, to keep our energy levels high. So my friend, Josh, he's, he's very athletic, he's very fit, he keeps that active and stuff like that. His fitness was a, a lot better than mine, um, so he kept on going. He, he had an imaginary whip and was just whipping me. Without him, I definitely wouldn't have been going as fast as I was. I wanted to keep up, but he also was, you know, keeping me up with him, really motivating me. Um, and we, we went the whole way together. I remember throughout the run, we there was no really stoppages other than a couple of water stands just pick up a cup of water and pour it over our faces and to get refreshed. Um, but apart from that, no stoppages. We carried on going and we kept on moving. A kilometre before the finish, um, my friend decided he wanted to push ahead. He wanted to get a, a, a very fast time. So he moved away from me. He was at the finish waiting for me. Um, meanwhile, there was me. I carried on going. I just, you know, trying to keep going. So about 400 metres before the finish, I was here, the finish was here, but to get to the finish I had to go up a really steep hill and then right back down it to get there. This shouldn't have been a problem for me, but suddenly something changed. Something in my head changed and in my whole body. I basically lost control. I felt like I was on my way back from a night out. I couldn't see properly, I couldn't walk properly. I was stumbling from side to side. I could hardly see where I was anymore. I didn't know what I was doing. I went down on one knee at, some, at one point and people were just running past me. Everyone I'd overtaken, they were, shoot, they were right in front of me again. I just remember hearing, keep going, keep going. And I was just there like, what? Why? <laughs> What's going on? Somehow, I managed to get my, myself back up and I got to the top of the hill and then started making my way down the hill. I'm not quite sure what happened between the point at the top of the hill to the point down the bottom of the hill. Absolutely no idea what happened. I do remember when I got to the bottom of the hill, I saw two cones about 20 metres in front of me. One there, one there. And I ran. I ran at it. I don't know how I had any energy left, but I just, just went for it. And then I got there and I just went like this. Mm. I thought I'd finished. I was over the moon. I was just laying there with my arms out. You know, happy, happy that I'd finally finished. But then I remember sort of looking up and realising that everyone was just a bit confused at why I stopped there. And everyone was like, ooh. I was just like, well, why is everyone looking at me it's like this? And then suddenly I still saw some runners just running past me. And I was just like, wait, what? What's going on? And then I looked up and there was another two cones about 20 metres further in front of me. And I realised I wasn't actually at the finish. 
got myself back up, got across this line in using literally the rest of the energy I had, I, I got there and I just collapsed and I just laid there flat. Uh, at this point, I remember laying there and looking around me and seeing loads of people just sort of staring at me, um, like surrounding me and a first aid man who was asking questions and stuff and I just didn't have any responses for him. I was just there completely out of it. And I remember my friend was just looking at me laughing as I laid on the floor. I didn't look, I, I looked like I was okay because I was just talking like I was smashed. I was talking complete nonsense. And he was there laughing. Then I just whipped out my phone. Let's <laughs> keep that water and then just rehydrate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just, um, but yeah, just, um, and just went on Snapchat and started recording everything. <sighs> what, you, what we need to do is we yeah. are going to so, you Snapchat. I recorded absolutely everything. I pointed at him. You did this to me. You, you did this to me. And he was just like, I don't know what I did. And but yeah. Following this, the first aid man was like, you know what, I think we need, I think we need an ambulance. So the ambulance was called and arrived probably about 10 minutes later. And I just remember seeing it and thinking, is that for me? What was going on? But they, they kind of helped me, helped me up and I realised my legs felt like they were completely not working. I just could hardly feel them. I had such bad cramp and they were hurting so much. Um, but I somehow managed to get to this ambulance. They gave me some oxygen and they took some tests. Um, and basically they told me that my heart rate had been too high for too long. So if you think back, that Red Bull that I had, it gave me wings, but it also gave me an extremely high heart rate for too long. And this meant that I started going a bit nutty, a bit fruity. Um, so yeah. Um, following this, they just sort of like waited until my heart rate went down, just to make sure I was okay. Um, they drove me home and they helped me into my house and I just got into the bath and just laid there for a couple of hours um, just until I could start feeling my legs again. That's kind of the story. I would say I regret it, but I don't because it's a funny story. And also, I got a medal, so it's a win. Something else that uh, came from this event was the fact that I did a 10k in 50 minutes. For me, that was very good. Uh, 50 minutes for a 10k is it's fairly good for an, a, an average runner. I was quite happy with that. And that's also including the time I spent on the floor struggling to get to the finish. So, I hope you've enjoyed my story. Uh, it's a bit of a weird one, but... It's my only ever experience with an ambulance. So, following this story, I've learned that I'll never drink a, an energy drink like that before a, any sort of exercise. Um, but yeah, I still can't believe it's even happened, to be honest, it was crazy. It was actually such a shame because when I got home and I got into the bath, I was on my phone and I checked my story and it was about five minutes long and it was just me recording everything. and going crazy and I'd received probably about 20 messages from friends asking if I was okay because I couldn't contact them, I was completely out of it um, and I didn't reply and all they saw was just me slurring and hardly speaking and being surrounded by people um, but as I was in the bath I saw it and I was embarrassed straight away, I didn't even watch them, I just deleted most of them and then thought to myself, wait, what am I doing, should I save them? So I managed to save a couple. That's my story. Um, I hope you've enjoyed my story and you maybe won't make the same mistake I did. Um, Red Bull did give me wings, but as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by my camera running out of battery. Red Bull did give me wings, but it also gave me a really high heart rate for too long. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, hope you've enjoyed my story. Please like, comment and subscribe. Um, and yeah, thank you very much.